Hi, I'm Jason Fair, CEO of Genesis Consulting, here in our headquarters answering your questions. Today, we're going to talk about Agile versus Waterfall. What is right for me? Many, many years of implementation experience with SAP, we've all delivered SAP projects using traditional waterfall methods. Project preparation, blueprint, realization, final prep. Very linear approach, what we call waterfall. Agile SAP takes that and delivers SAP projects in an iterative way. So when we look at our projects and we talk to our customers, they, want, they ask themselves, is Agile right for this project? Many times, Agile may not be the right approach. We've actually worked with several customers where they work in an environment of both Agile projects and waterfall projects. When they assess their projects and which approach they should use, they apply several different criteria. What I've done here is I've listed a few of the areas for you to consider when you think about Agile versus Waterfall. We also like to think of it as a spectrum from innovation to more of a cookbook type approach. In assessing where you are in that spectrum, I'm going to ask a couple key questions. Requirements or the definition of the scope of the project. Is it changing or is it stable? Let's say that your requirements are constantly changing and that as you unveil more information, you create new requirements or other requirements may fall off. So that puts you closer towards the innovation side. How about change? Is the scope always changing? Do you have other stakeholders that are constantly adding to the list of things that they want to put in the project? Have you traditionally found new scope requirements as you get later in the cycle of testing in your project? If there's that fluctuation of change, you may be closer towards the innovation side. Experience. Is this a new technology? Are these solutions new to your organization and do you have experience implementing them before? Are there people that are coming to the project? Do they have the right level of experience to be able to work rapidly, to make decisions, and to bring the right domain expertise to the project? Let's say we have a mix of that. We have some new technologies, but we have also a stable environment. That may put us a little bit closer to the middle of the spectrum. The next area is resources. Do we have the right resources that are dedicated to this project? Or do we have some people that are maybe part-time or not fully dedicated to the project? It's critical in an Agile project to make sure that your resources are dedicated during the times that we've committed to that project. If we have the right level of resources and we can commit them to the project, we'll be closer more towards an innovative type environment. The physical location. Can these resources be co-located in the same location? I know a lot of us have worked in environments where we've got distributed networks and we may have resources that are even offshore. How are we going to deal with that type of an environment? How are we going to bring those resources together? That's a challenge that we have to deal with and is a significant consideration. Let's say for this example that we have resources that are distributed and that we do have some offshore resources that we need to include. So we may be closer towards of a cookbook approach on that one. Customer involvement critical to the success of an Agile project. One of the concepts and premises of Agile is that we get continuous feedback and interaction with our end customers. We're going to be delivering product in very short cycles of time and we require our customer to provide feedback at all times. If we are able to get that feedback in a continuous way from our customers, we are definitely more Agile. Let's say for that example, we've got more customer involvement. Timelines. Do we have fixed timelines or due dates that we have to work towards? Or are we a little bit more flexible in what we can deliver and the timelines in which we can deliver them? If we're a little bit more flexible, we may be more agile. But if we have financial requirements, quarter end, year end, calendar restrictions, other types of initiatives that we have to comply with, we may have more restrictions on timelines. And let's say we do. So let's say for timelines, we may be a little bit more constricted. And finally, documentation. Do we have the flexibility to require a little bit less documentation? I know many of us are used to documenting every step that we do in these types of projects, looking at the functional specs, the technical specifications, the business process procedures, the training documentation, all the different testing documentation that we have, or do we have more flexibility to streamline that and to reduce the amount of documentation that we have? Sometimes you have compliance requirements that you have to meet, sometimes you have regulatory uh, testing requirements that you have to provide and you may not have that flexibility. But for this example, let's say that we have the ability to streamline that and to eliminate some of the wasted effort that we spend in that type of documentation effort. 
that would make us a little bit more agile. So in summary, when we look at where we are in this spectrum, and for the example that we've been talking about, it looks like we are, have a project that's a candidate for an agile or more innovative approach to implementing SAP. In summary, agile, waterfall, your organization can use both in implementing your SAP projects. These are some of the criteria or considerations that we would ask our customers to think about in considering an agile type project. Requirements and definition, is your scope always changing or is it stable? The experience that you have of the solution and of the people on your team, the resources, can they be dedicated to an agile type project? Are they physically located in the same place? Can they be co-located or do you have a distributed network that you have to work with? The customer involvement, can they provide that continuous feedback that's critical to the success of an agile project? The timelines, are they fixed due dates or do we have flexibility in our timelines that we can provide to our customers? and documentation requirements. Do we have any compliance or regulatory requirements that restrict our ability to reduce documentation? Or can we start to streamline what we typically see on, on typical projects? If you can find yourself more on the innovation side of the spectrum, Agile may be for you. If not, it's okay. You can continue to do waterfall. Thanks for watching our video blog and be sure to check out our other videos. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel and connect with us on LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook. I'm Jason Fair, CEO of Genesis Consulting. Until next time.